Hello guys, my name is Razvan and in this tutorial we will see how to create multiple projects using uh, Laravel Homestead. Um, when you try to create multiple of, of projects uh, by using the Homestead, um, if you just start to use Homestead with Laravel, um, uh, I find this a bit difficult to understand, at least for beginners. And um, I will want to show you in this tutorial how you can create multiple projects um, and uh, use them in the same time. So let's get started. First of all, um, if we open the Laravel um, website um, for the installation of, of Homestead, uh, we just need to install uh, a few things uh, such as VirtualBox or VM VMware. So uh, this is uh, a virtualization tool yeah then we need to install vagrant and um, we need also to have a git bash or you you can use the command line of windows because this is in windows but um, i think it's best to use git bash then um, once you install all these tools installing the vagrant we just need if we follow the steps um, we need to add a vagrant box to laravel installation has has this document documentation says so I will copy that this line and I'll just paste it here uh, just uh, after you install the vagrant just test and see if it's, it's correctly installed so you can do vagrant version and you can see the vagrant is installed and then you, let's pass let's let's paste this line vagrant box at Laravel homestead Okay, now once it's done, this is depending on the, uh, of your system or and um, also of your internet connection will be will can um, can take more or less time. So um, the next step, which we have to do, is to clone this homestead, yeah, in our local system. The, then um, so let's copy this line. I will paste it here yeah but um i will uh, specify where this should be cloned um this means home directory yeah so before this homestead i will create let's um, create a, a folder a specific folder you can put whatever name you want here so i will do test let's let's do this just for the uh, this is just for testing yeah um, so if I go here and just do this okay so I'll leave it like this uh, and if I press enter now let me just open a folder and um, let me just bring the home directory in C so we are in C here yeah we are users W7 and here inside of here we should see this folder will be created yeah so if i press enter here let's see you see the directory has been created here yeah this is a the, the directory and inside we have the homestead yeah so inside of here we have uh, our homestead which which was been been cloned from a git repository so yes now let's go and see what uh, vagrant box uh, we have now install it and we can do like vagrant box list so you can see we have um, this box already installed the next step is um, we need to create the configuration file inside of this homestead um, which was been cloned yeah from the repository uh, if we go here, th they are telling us to do the um, checkout release. So we have to change the branch to release one. Okay, so let's do that. So let's change to this direct directory, change to home, and then homestead. And once we are here inside, we need to run this command, which is uh, changing the, br uh, the branch here. Yeah? using the git command so let's do git yeah 
yeah so now we are in the release branch and then the the next step is to create the host uh, homestead yaml file which is the configuration file yeah we will see how to modify this to create multiple projects and um, um, synchronize the the roots for the where will be the project uh, in the host machine and in the vagrant machine okay so let's do this bash in it if we do bash in it dot sh now is done but uh, uh, so this is um, you can see here is saying is for mac yeah but we are in windows if we do init but will not work because we are in a git command line so that's why i i have used this line okay um now says the 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 file is already created which is this one homestead yaml okay and let's edit this i will edit it open let's open visual studio okay so now here we have this this line here which will uh, this will look for a, a ssh key and um, to be able to generate th those keys so this keys case are used to be able to connect um, to our virtual machine to our homestead machine here yeah? and uh, we need a command to generate this key so i will provide that line and um, the line to generate this keys is the, the next one so let's go to the terminal and just type the the following command which is ssh dash kgen dash t r s a dash c and just add an email on there yeah okay so if i press enter now if we go here and uh, let me just have this here you will see uh no it's it's here inside of home di directory yeah so these keys will be generated in home directory i have here already uh, a folder which is ssh underscore old key so this is my old keys but uh, i just rename it just to be able to see to show you how to this will be generated uh, again yeah so once it's done I press enter you can add a pass key but i'll leave it empty empty and now as you can see this is generated already okay next step is the step where um at least me i was confused at the beginning it's here folders and sites so map is the root of the folder in our windows machine so here we need to add a root to our projects in the windows machine yeah so this root this folder will map to a folder inside of the virtual machine yeah which will be added here um, this was a bit confusing for me at the beginning but if you follow my steps you you should be okay so the top one is the folder in windows and the bottom is the folder in the virtual machine so let's say for example uh, if i open my folder here let me see here i will uh, let's say i will add a folder here and i will name it just i don't know testing multiple projects yeah let, let's leave it like this yeah just in case and inside of this folder i will add my projects yeah test multiple projects okay so if i go inside of here and copy this route just click on here copy that and let's go and paste it here yeah delete the sign in front and change the slashes yeah and then i will add this to the virtual machine also yeah and this will be the domain Okay, so let's do domain let's give it a name now but we will see how this will can we can change that in the in in the uh, vhost of or of our uh, um, server in the windows so let's do project one yeah and um, the location will be this one the root will be this one yeah but instead of um, the main folder which is testing multiple project i will have the project one yeah project okay so let's see uh, this is project one now once we have this you'll understand how this work in a in a minute but let's see this 
is the root in our windows yeah so we have already this folder which is this one here and this folder will map inside of the virtual machine we will which will start in a moment yeah which will be this one testing multiple projects yeah this this folder we will be created in the, in our virtual machine yeah and then we will install laravel our first project inside of the virtual machine inside project one so will be a project one laravel uh, and then i have to add here public yeah because laravel um, starts from the public folder so you will understand in a moment you will see probably you will know this because the, uh, the, um, the laravel starts from uh, the public folder yeah okay once we have this uh, done um, let's uh, let's do the next if we go to the terminal we should in initiate the machine the machine yeah so let's do that and um, let's do vagrant up yeah okay so vagrant call not detect virtual box okay let's see maybe i don't have virtual box installed virtual box okay so i have downloaded virtual box earlier but i haven't installed it sorry about that i will install this in a moment virtual box so i will install this download it and install it and come back yeah 